Today we're gonna be talking about a lot of stuff. I'm gonna combine a lot of information in this one single giant video instead of making multiple videos. I basically covered the first gameplay images of Call of Duty World War II in a separate video because I couldn't see it being fit in this video. But in this video we're gonna be talking about DLC5 evidence being removed and it is pretty obvious that it will come out very soon. Perhaps, uh, I, I guess we're gonna cover it <laughs> during the video as well. Today we got Call of Duty World War 2 trailer confirmed date. The reveal is happening very very soon as well there's a teaser coming out very soon as well. At first I did not want to make this video as it was pretty straightforward and I did not have enough information to go ahead and make a video. You got like World War 2 confirmed, the reveal date, the trailer, the every everything like that but now we have some more information. We got the teaser information, Call of Duty World War 2 gameplay images which is just plain nuts. And any live stream information for the reveal, some juicy DLC5 information as well and it's looking really great. There's just so much hype and I cannot seem to find a way to hold all of this hype up. Would love to know if you have any solution though and the hype is building up like crazy man. And we're gonna get down to everything in this video but hey everybody what the heck is going on my name is Usman and let's just get right into it. If you're new to the channel definitely do consider subscribing, we do daily videos and live streams so definitely do consider subscribing but let's get this started with Call of Duty World War 2. Now it is officially confirmed by Call of Duty itself. There's absolutely no guessing game right now and the reveal is gonna happen on April 26 which is the coming Wednesday and it will be dropping at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, or 1 p.m. Eastern Time which is my time zone. That's when we're gonna see the reveal of Call of Duty World War 2 the trailer and I am pretty stoked. There's a live stream that's gonna take place at that time which I will be covering on the channel I got you covered and on the live stream we can definitely expect the trailer developers talking about their game zombies will be officially confirmed yes we do know it's coming it was a topic that we tackled a while ago so yes it is coming but we're definitely going to hear a little bit about it during the stream probably going to just hear getting it confirmed by sledgehammer games and maybe get a picture just like we got for IW zombies and things like that which I am really really excited about and just take a second to look at this cover art. My gosh, it is beautiful. We can see something in his eyes. Inserts a quality meme, totally not stolen at all. Ugh, I, I just love it. And we also have got some low resolution, but first ever, Call of Duty World War 2 gameplay images. We covered that in the last video and it was found on the Call of Duty website itself. I, I, I will link it down in the description below. And I absolutely cannot wait. Plus, if you wonder, PlayStation 4 will get all the DLCs early. It has been confirmed and tomorrow not sure when this video will go up but on April 22nd we should be seeing a teaser I, I am guessing around 1 p.m. Eastern time but it could be a lot later or a lot earlier this was found on the Call of Duty website and we have a mention of 22nd April and the teaser and boom there you go everything related to Call of Duty World War 2 covered but do look forward tomorrow and on top of that DLC 5 it is basically going to happen there's just no way that it's not gonna happen there is absolutely Absolutely no doubt in my mind. Now yesterday we covered the topic of real DLC5 evidence. There was a guy that actually records voiceover for Rick Toffin in Portuguese that came out and posted on Instagram saying he recorded vocals for Rick Toffin and there was a Spanish guy that also recorded vocals for Rick Toffin in Spanish that also came out and basically that guy shared a post on Facebook which goes something like this. I'm not gonna read the whole thing but it says basically that DLC5 is coming and I recorded vocals. Uh, for Rick Toffin character in Spanish. I remember commenting on that post with my page, with my actual Skizzalax page on Facebook and saying something like DLC5 high, but now it has been removed. He also recorded himself recording vocals and shared his recording session with a Spanish YouTuber by the name of Vest and he uploaded his recording session on his channel and now he removed the video. From what I've heard, he was told to remove. As well, the voice actors have also taken down their posts and everything like that which just confirms that it is real now if you miss the recordings basically the recordings were for the moon radio West put old radio quotes and his new ones it's the same lines from moon but in the new one this voice actor was a lot more energetic as expected because if you do something for a longer period of times you'll get better at it eventually and to me it feels like it would be for the real
remastered version of Moon. It was all legit and everything has been checked up and there's no sign of this being fake unless this is like a giant troll but it is definitely not that. If you remember the Super Easter Egg stuff, Treyarch answered pretty damn fast and pretty damn hard as soon as the discussion started climbing ladders and this time it's a lot different. They've been taking down stuff not only that we have seen voice actors come out but we have got remaster loading screens from Treyarch and Jason and Treyarch has already confirmed we'll see new content for Black Ops 3 Zombies this year and on top of that we got new DLC files added into Black Ops 3 recently. The investor report is mentioning a new DLC is on its way for Black Ops 3 later this year and investors are basically putting money on it and the voice actors evidence about DLC 5 is now removed and I really think these leaks were on purpose. Like I said yesterday, I will say it again. These guys have been with Treyarch for so long and that's their job and they are professional voice actors. I, I don't think they will go on social media and hand out information unless they haven't signed any papers and I hardly believe that's the case or they are told to just leak it or done it on their own for the lols, which cannot be true. This situation is looking really damn good. I just cannot wait this to get announced by Treyarch and I really think E3 can be the place and time, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But if you found this video quick and informative, give it a like, subscribe for more and check out the last video where we covered the gameplay images for the new Call of Duty World War 2.